Hi, and welcome back. Today we're starting a three-part series on plantar fasciitis, also known as heel spurs. This is an incredibly common problem in the United States and accounts for about 1 million doctor's visits every year. In this video, we're going to talk about the problem underlying plantar fasciitis, and in the next two videos, we'll address how we treat it and get you some relief. What is the plantar fascia? It is a thick, curly white band of tissue that wraps around structures on the bottom of your feet and goes from the base of your heel to the base of your toes and it helps to support the arch. The issue with it is that it takes a pounding all day every day anytime you take a step and imagine it like your hand it every time you take a step it stretches out and stretches out and stretches out and after a long time repeated trauma it will get inflamed. We see it most in the age group between 40 and 60 years old. We can certainly see it in people younger and older than that. Younger we see it much more commonly in runners. Risk factors for plantar fasciitis include people with flat feet, people who have been undergoing excessive training, especially where they are jumping a lot or running long distances, people who are significantly overweight, there is a link between this and type 2 diabetes. We're not exactly sure whether it's correlation versus causation to my statistician friends out there. Also, people who engage in prolonged standing, especially at work, like cashiers or other people who are on hard floors a lot, people who go barefoot are also prime candidates to develop this. We diagnose plantar fasciitis generally just by physical exam and a nice history. Most of the time there's no need for diagnostic tests or imaging. There's not a blood test that diagnoses this. It's generally just your story. If there is not suspicion for a fracture or if there wasn't an injury, most of the time you can get this diagnosis and come immediately home with a plan on how you're going to address it. So that's plantar fasciitis in a nutshell. Stay tuned for how we're going to address it. Don't forget to like and subscribe.